partnership with the Westpac Group presents Australian women shaping a nation. Born in England in 1777, Mary Reby, a brash and adventurous young girl, was convicted of horse stealing at the age of 13 and sentenced to seven years out in the convict colony, New South Wales. Was it theft or a self-claimed spirited young girl's mischief? We'll never know. But what we do know is that Mary blossomed and grew into a successful landowner and respected woman in Sydney society. In 1794, she married Thomas Reby, a young Irishman in the service of the East India Company. Life was comfortable and Thomas ran a successful trading business until his death in 1811, leaving Mary, a 33-year-old widow with seven children and the concerns of her deceased husband's business affairs. But it is here that Mary flourished and the business grew as she continued with its daily operations and further extended its reach and assets. Mary's business prowess expanded to real estate and she became a keen property investor with extensive building purchases throughout Sydney's city district, including George Street, Macquarie Place and Macquarie Street. She also supported many charitable institutions and was appointed governor of what is now the Sydney Boys Grammar School. The strength and tenacity Mary showed when faced with such challenges early on in life is indicative of the character she possessed. This humble looking yet truly great Australian spirited woman staring back at us on a $20 note serves to remind us that life is not what happens to us and rarely what it appears to be, but our ally in what we choose to make of it. <laughs>